In higher education, America's black men are failing. Their graduation rate nationally is 33 percent. That's the lowest of any group. Why is this happening? The reasons are what faculty and students at UCLA's Black Mill Institute are trying to address. Last year, UCLA came under fire from black students angry about the low retention rate for black males. They made a video called "Black Bruins" that went viral. The graduation rates for African American males at UCLA is 74 percent, which means out of that 48 freshmen last year, only 35. Are predicted to graduate. Dante, Trevell, and Julius are all undergraduate students at UCLA. They say the lack of diversity on campus is one of the reasons black males are not succeeding. Typically, you're a lot. You're the only black student in your class, and、um, interacting with others who may or may not, or typically haven't understood or know anything about your culture other than what the media portrays, is like, is is just.、Um, I'm at a loss for words. It's a,、uh, it's harmful,、uh, for lack of a better term, and it, and it makes you it makes you think like, why am I here? And it makes you reassess like, why are you here? And if you want to be here, I remember whenever I had a class over 300, I would just I would mem- almost remember every quarter just doing like the. Two, three. It's three plus me, and so when it be. When it's when the the classroom environment or the classroom classroom climate is like that,、um, you kind of want to just just kind of like back like back away, kind of like fade to black. I'm just not really motivated to study, and I don't study as much now because I've been doing like a lot more personal work, and that's definitely related to I guess the fact of me being black on campus.、Um, It's it's maybe not feel as socially adequate as I would I guess in, I guess a normal black I mean I guess in like a historically black college. This school is not diverse just because you put it on a pamphlet, but you'll name a building after Albert Conesaw who publicly opposes affirmative action, the action that can make our fraction on your demographic pie chart look more than just a second hand on a clock. It's all talk. In 1996, California voters passed Proposition 209, which banned public colleges and universities from giving preferential treatment in admissions on the basis of race. At UCLA, the number of Black students dropped dramatically. Prop 209 definitely kills us, and so the fact that you know、uh, race cannot be a factor in admittance into、uh, to the colleges, I mean, that plays a big. <laughs> that's probably the number one reason why you don't see. Um, increased numbers of African American students. You get small enrollment numbers.、Uh, you're going to have smaller graduation rates. And I think there's something to be said about how students feel comfortable on a campus. And if you feel like there are numbers of people who look like you or who come from communities like you, and they're not doing well, whether or not you realize it starts to put doubt in your own mind. Dr. Tyrone Howard is the founder and director of the Black Male Institute. We know what research says: when students feel like they belong on the campus, they're more likely to become engaged. The more likely they are engaged, the more likely they are to to do well academically. The better they do academically, the more likely they are to graduate. So these things all sort of fit hand in hand. The Black Male Institute seeks to address some of the issues Black male students face when they get to UCLA through a variety of courses. Do a course entitled Blackamated, and Blackamated、um, actually. Um, was a course designed for first-year transfer students,、um, as well as freshmen, to get acclimated to universities by providing them、uh, resources on campus. That's the more practical intervention. We had Lumina, and Lumina was designed to help conduct research affiliated with Black Amated, as well as to just give undergraduate researchers an opportunity、um, to learn how to do qualitative type research, specifically on retention efforts of Black males at UCLA. Dr. Howard started the institute after finding out that the reason Black males were not graduating was because they did not know how to use the proper resources that the university provided. If Black males who had dropped out told us that they wish they had known that they could have gotten help academically, that they could have known that they didn't have to struggle financially, if they had known those things, they may have stayed here longer. So our whole purpose was let's bring all those resources, 
all those people into one place where the students can access them. And so far, what, four years in, I think we've done a good job. The retention rate of the students we've had has been, last time I checked in the upper 90, about 96, 97 percent of the students who have taken the class are still here or have graduated. Trevell is a member of BMI and senior planning on graduating this year. He credits his success to his mentors. I have many male mentors who have guided me. Number one primarily is Dr. Howard, um, helping me in getting research um, under my belt, just understanding how this, um, how this, this level of academia works, just making sure that I have every resource that is that's possible, like that I ever need. He's making sure that I have that. And the black males who have been helped are passing on what they have learned to help others. You gotta play, you gotta study yourself, you gotta figure out what you do well and what you don't do well. And, um, and, and don't be scared to um, experiment and then ask for help as well and ask for other people to do.